Right now at 6, a major mess left behind by Mother Nature after a wild and windy weekend on the Outer Banks. There is a lot to clean up and a lot for officials there to think about when it comes to stopping the constant batterings by the weather. Good evening, and here's what's happening. The Outer Banks is faced once again with a big cleanup after another lashing by a coastal storm. Parts of Route 12 along Dare County are once again closed. The surf has washed up plenty of sand and has been since the weekend started. Things are starting to calm down, but what's gearing up is a plan to fix the problem once and for all. Center your sides, Kayla Gaskins begins our coverage from the Outer Banks tonight. We're at the base of the Mark Bass Night Bridge in the Outer Banks, and these barriers you see have been in place since Friday. They're not expected to be removed until Tuesday when crews have the roadway cleared south of here heading towards Rodanthe. This is not a sight that you want to see on the only roadway in and out of Hatteras Island. These closures happen so often after big weather events, they almost feel routine. NC 12 has been obviously. Uh... Uh, huge issue for us. Each year, the state spends about $2 million cleaning up NC 12 after storms. Earlier this year, county leaders created a task force to create short and long term solutions to the problem. Task force leader Bob Woodard says they are making progress, but they're still a few months away from having a master plan to present to the public. Hopefully, uh, January will have a plan in place. The goal is to try to uh, uh, mitigate it to our best, and of course, that's going to take uh, substantial funding. On Friday, the House passed the trillion dollar infrastructure bill. The bill allocates money for roads and bridges. Woodard said they're making plans to travel to D.C. to figure out how to secure some of those funds for Dare County projects like NC 12. We're looking to talk to Senator Burr, Senator Tillis, and the Congressman Murphy. Woodard also pointed out that county projects like beach renourishment are just as important. This storm we've had has really done a, a number in Buxton when we had a nourishment program that we did a couple of years ago. And if it hadn't have been for that, the damages would have been, been much greater this, this storm. In Nags Head, I'm Kayla Gaskins, Town on Your Side.